New tonight at 11, ahead of Michigan's State of the State address tomorrow, Governor Gretchen Whitmer announced she plans to expand who can apply for the Michigan Reconnect program. Up North Live's Nicole Long joins us with a breakdown of what the governor is expected to propose to state lawmakers. The number of students at community college has fallen 37% since 2010, according to the Associated Press. And during last year's State of the State address, Governor Gretchen Whitmer prioritized access to community college by temporarily lowering the age for free tuition from 25 years old to 21. At this year's State of the State address, the governor plans to urge lawmakers to pass legislation that would provide free community college tuition for everyone, which is something the governor says could save Michiganders an average of $4,000 as they earn their associate's degree. And we saw a really good uptake, probably, and it was about the time future for frontliners also happened with the pandemic, but uh, when you lump all of that together, probably 10% of our student population. So that's going to be about 150 students. So it's making a significant difference for those uh, individuals. By the end of the 2023 academic year, more than 32,000 students in the state of Michigan had enrolled in the Michigan Reconnect program since its launch in 2021. And at least 4,000 have earned a degree or certificate. At North Central Michigan College, it's no different. Being able to offer free tuition can help bring students back into the classroom, especially as community college enrollment in the state has been on a recent decline. Our tuition is relatively low and we have good scholarship opportunities. Uh, and still, uh, folks aren't as likely uh, to pursue higher education when they understand that that portion, the tuition, there are other costs, of course, but when the tuition is free, all of a sudden it becomes a possibility. But opening up this opportunity to all Michigan high school graduates has some lawmakers asking for clarification. I thought that's what the program was designed to do, was reconnect to another or different degree or another uh, skill set. Um, if the governor wants to do this down to age 20, 18, then let's call it a just free community college program and we can then debate the merits to that. Um, uh, under the reconnect banner, I think is misleading a little bit. Despite that, offering free tuition is something lawmakers say they want to see continue. I think uh, a lot of people have seen this as a very good program. Uh, I certainly, my community colleges are very much in favor of it and I've been listening to them. And uh, I think it's a, a good way to get people trained and into the, in the workforce. And it will help close a gap in Michigan's education system. The state of Michigan has launched an initiative called 60 by 30 to get 60% of our residents a college or a post-secondary degree by the year 2030. We've made some good progress, but not enough to hit that bar in the next six years. And so this is an important initiative uh, to try to take a next step and really work in earnest to make that happen. Under Whitmer's proposal, eligible students must have lived in Michigan for a year, they must have their high school diploma, and don't already have a college degree. Students would also have up to three years to earn their associate's degree. Reporting for Up North Live News, I'm Nicole Long. And Up North Live News will stream the State of the State address on Facebook, YouTube, and X. It begins tomorrow at 7 p.m. We'll also have team coverage of the speech, including reaction on Up North Live News at 11.